Hi, I'm James from Sussex Outdoors and welcome to another video. Today I'm make, doing a, a little making uh, video. Uh, I have a, a couple of these um, bamboo chopping boards uh, that I've had for a couple of years. I have used for camping, um, but uh, that I got these from uh, mixed cheeses for Christmas from the supermarket. Um, and they are a little on the heavy side. This uh, They're about just shy of 400 grams each. So my plan is to trim this down to take it off about there and give it a good sort of give it a handle so and maybe something that I can uh, hang it with uh, make it look a little bit more rustic and uh, shave a shave a lot of weight off of it so I'm gonna get this measured up and uh, I'll see you in a minute enjoy so for this little project uh, I've um, marked out some some measurements so I'm gonna be taking this whole it was originally a 20 centimetre wide board. I'm going to take it back to 12 centimetres wide. And from the length, I'm going to keep the whole length, uh, but use um, part of it as a handle. So it's 26 centimetres long. Uh, I'm going to drop that to 17 and then use the rest as a handle. Then I'm making the handle uh, three centimetres wide. Um, I've cut so I've drawn straight um, lines here. I will I will cut to these dimensions, but then what I'll more than likely do is I'll uh, I'll uh, round the edges, maybe bow this in, uh, and I will be rounding off the the end. Put, drill, drill a hole through, uh, so you can put a cord on there, so you can hang it for when it's not in use. I mean, after you've taken all of that material off from the, the just shy of 400 grams that the um, the board was, I reckon it's going to be less than half that. I'm guessing under under about 175 grams, but we shall see. Right, I'll get on to cutting. I think I timed that pretty much uh, spot on because uh, uh, the, the heavens have just opened. Um, as you could possibly tell from the previous bits of video, I'm, uh, I'm quite uh, constrained in that, uh, that little shed. It is new, I've only just moved, so no workbench, no electricity in there, no light in there. So I've literally had to run an extension lead from the house down there to be able to use the jigsaw. Um, with the door open with daylight uh, so um, yes thankfully I managed to get the uh, the cuts done um, so yeah I'm just going to spend the time in here uh, hand sanding this down now um, yeah I'll, um, I'll run a time lapse and um, so you can see how it all works The, uh, the finished product. Um, I think it came out all right to be perfectly honest. It's it's a bit rough and ready around the edges um, 
but then it's made it look a little bit rusty. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I need to go and give it a wash, just get all the uh, all the sawdust off of it. Um, and then uh, I'm going to be putting uh, this on it, which is um, walnut and beeswax oil. Uh, it just goes on like um, like dubbing, really. Um, once it's on, you let it let it soak in, and you give it a, a, a day or two to uh, to dry out. And the walnut oil actually um, makes it solidify, um, so it's not sticky and greasy, uh, and it just stops the um, stops anything from going through. Basically, stops it from being porous. So um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that, and then I'll uh, I'll bring you back to show you the uh, the finished product. have it all oiled up I think that's come out quite nice so time to add a, a leather thong to the end so it can be hung up and then I can call this done Let's find out how much that weighs now. So with with the that on there, a respectable 161 grams. So yeah, we've um, we've lost about 200, 210, 220 grams, I think. So yeah, I think that's uh, quite reasonable. Well, if you've come this far, thank you ever so much for uh, following my my little um, project this afternoon. Um, Again, it was just a, a little something that just kept me occupied. Uh, but I will be using that uh, down the line down on, uh, on wild camps. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.